Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to dive into custom instructions for ChatGPT. If you don't already know what they are, then you might be wondering, what the hell are custom instructions? Well, don't worry. Despite the sophisticated name, custom instructions are actually pretty simple to understand. They have the ability to offer you one-of-a-kind interaction with ChatGPT, so let's dive right into it. So what are custom instructions? Think of them as a briefing before the meeting, equipping ChatGPT with the tools before starting the conversation. If you head over to your account on ChatGPT and click on custom instructions, you will find that there are two boxes in your settings. One of them are for you and the other is for ChatGPT. The first box is about you, who you are, your background, and your personal preferences. The second box is who you want ChatGPT to be and what you want it to do. So let's kick things off with the first box, which is all about you. This is where you introduce yourself, helping ChatGPT tailor its responses to your needs. You can share your personal details, your education background, professional experience, ongoing projects, and even preferred writing styles. Now let's dive into the second box. Here you can define ChatGPT's role, specify its task it should do, and set your expectations for quality and output. It can be as straightforward as instructing ChatGPT not to use certain phrases that tend to crop up repeatedly. To get the most out of this box, we can use the who, what, why, and how method. Clarify who you want ChatGPT to act as, whether it's a teacher, a blog writer, or a developer. Outline the task it should handle, explain the purpose behind these tasks, and determine how the work should be executed. This simple guide empowers ChatGPT to better understand its role and deliver tailored responses. So let's go take a look at some examples. So here I have a template built out. I will leave that in the description below. So listed we have personal details, education experience level, job and industry, current projects, specific interests, style of speaking, general preferences, and the overall ChatGPT objectives. And in the second box, we have who ChatGPT will act as, what ChatGPT will do, why the user needs this to be done, how the user wishes the task will be carried out. So I already created a persona here and I am acting as a beginner in programming with a keen interest in web development. My education is uh, that I have some basic knowledge of HTML and CSS, but no experience in JavaScript. And for the job, I am currently a student looking to expand my skills in web development. For current project, I put I am planning to start learning JavaScript and build some projects for my portfolio. For specific interest, I put interested in front end development and I would like to learn frameworks like React in the future. For style of speaking, I prefer simple, clear explanations with practical examples. And for general references, I just put I enjoy learning through the interactions of coding exercises and building real world projects. And for the overall ChatGPT objective, I set my goal to become proficient in JavaScript and start building my own web applications. And now for the second box, for who ChatGPT will act as, I set a knowledgeable mentor who has experience in teaching JavaScript for beginners. For what ChatGPT will do, I set provide a step-by-step -step roadmap for learning JavaScript from basic to advanced topics. ChatGPT should also suggest resources for learning each topic and provide guidance on how to practice and apply the concepts learned. And for why the user needs this to be done, as a beginner, it can be overwhelming to figure out what to learn and in what order. A structured roadmap will help guide my learning journey and ensure that I don't miss any important concept. And for how the user wishes the task to be carried out, I said ChatGPT should present the information in a clear, organized manner. It should be helpful. ChatGPT could also provide tips on how to stay motivated and overcome common challenges that beginners face when learning programming. So let's test this out. I'm just going to type in hello and then I'm going to type please provide me a course outline to learn JavaScript to mastery. So it's not bad. It provided us an outline of the course. And now let's just type in great. Now I would like to get started on the course. Can you act as the course instructor and guide me step by step? And it looks like it provides us with how to set up a uh, visual studio. It provides us with a link to node.js and then it gives you the basic JavaScript syntax, some code, I guess you can run. So not really helpful. So now let's just turn on custom instruction and we're going to run the same prompts just to see what output we receive. I'm going to type in hello. And you can see already it says, hello, it's great to see you here. How can I assist you today with your JavaScript learning journey? So it already knows what we're here to do and what its role is, is the custom instruction basically preps ChatGPT ahead of time, kind of like a trained model. 
So it gave us our course outline, just like the previous one, and it does exactly what we asked. It provided us with resources uh, that we can use to further our studies. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in, great, now I would like to get started on this course. Can you act as the course instructor and guide me step by step? And it looks like it provided us with a course outline, uh, gave us week one through two, week three to four, and so forth. And you can already see that the first lesson it's providing us has way more information than our previous session with ChatGPT. It goes through the variables and the operators and expressions, the control flow and so forth. So now let's try out another example. Now we're going to do one as a preschool teacher. I filled out all the necessary information for both boxes here. And my goal is to get a two day lesson plan. Okay, so let's test this out. Please provide a lesson plan for pre-K focused on not talking to strangers. So it looks like it produced a decent lesson plan. You can see that it provides us with objectives, uh, materials and introductions and everything else that we can do. However, I wanted a two day lesson plan, although I didn't mention it here. Uh, that's the idea of why we have custom instructions. It does everything beforehand. So we don't have to worry about inputting all this information, going to chat log just to get it prepped. So now I'm just going to go ahead and enable custom instructions. And then we're just going to type in the same prompt. And now you can see that we're actually getting what we wanted with the same prompt. We're getting our two day lesson plan and it's broken down in the same format. The previous one was, it does look a little thin. However, you can always continue and ask ChatGPT for more detail and I'm sure you'll get all the information you need. So the idea here is that you prep ChatGPT with custom instructions with all the tools you'll think you'll need for your conversations. So now let's address a key point. Sometimes your personal stuff just doesn't cut it for the job at hand. That's where the magic of personas comes into play. Imagine this, one persona for work and another for everyday stuff. It's like switching hats for different tasks. But here's the issue. You can't save these personas onto ChatGPT. So you would probably need to keep a document with those personas on standby to switch them out whenever you need to. Well, actually that was the case. If you head over to the Chrome Web Store, you'll find the ChatGPT custom instruction storage extension. This is a free extension that allows you to store all your custom instructions in one location so you can simply just swap them out at any given time, depending on your current task. So now you don't have to hold on to that spreadsheet or notepad full with your custom instructions. You can just simply store them inside the extension. And if you don't want to use custom instructions, there's a button to switch it off as well. Custom instructions are a game changer, creating different personas for different tasks. It's like having a whole squad of ChatGPT helpers ready to roll. In a nutshell, custom instructions are the key to unlocking a whole new level of ChatGPT interactions. So I hope that was helpful. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe. Until next time.